Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing of Oath, Chronicles of Empire and Exile. This is the Kickstarter edition here. Really excited to show you what's in this box. Um, I think it's going to be a really great experience. I'm really looking forward to it from Leader Games. So let's have a look inside in a second. Um, we can see here that this is made by uh, the same crew behind Root. Uh, with uh, we've got up here Cole Whirl and uh, Kyle Farron. Uh, so really excited to to open this up. We can see uh, the size of it here. It's quite it's cool. It's quite heavy. It's quite what is quite a significant uh, bit larger than than Root uh, and and vast in those games. Uh, so let's continue to have a look inside, and we'll take off the uh, shrink wrap here. Um, real quickly, oh yes, about to get that uh, new game smell. Cannot wait for it, it's going to be fantastic. So here we go, opening it up. Here we go, do, 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 do. opening it up here. Here we go, let's pop the top, lift the lid, and here we go. Looking at it here, look, this is just going to be so good. I cannot wait to open this up and show you all inside. It's going to be really good, really excited, and here we go. All right, so we've got some... Uh, first of all, we've got some instruction books. So we've got the in typical leader games fashion. We've got the uh, read me first here. So this is the the playbook um, with uh, instructions about how to how to play the game for your first time, and then the supplemental rules here, which will be the rules and rule form, a couple of reference sheets uh, of what you need to do. So they're always handy. Make a copy of a couple of those if you're allowed to. And then you've got the uh, the card reference here. That's going to be pretty handy. Pop those around the table so everyone can see. That's going to be great as well. And then we've got the tokens here. Now this game does come with deluxe tokens. So here's the here's the cardboard ones and a few different pop outs too. So we'll just show you the back as well. Looking at that, looking fantastic. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at the art on this. Just really, really good. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Look at some. Look at this pig. Look at this pig on there. Oh, great. And these are your card dividers for when you make your, uh, for the cards that you need. And here's your little objective tiles. Uh, so it's upside down the Oath Keeper there. And a few different things. And just, oh yeah, so good. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to play this. Here's the player boards. So you've got the Chancellor and then the Exiles. Uh, you've got the, the Black Maple, the White Maple, the Orange and the Red Maple. The blue maple, the best maple, and of course here the yellow maple. So looking good, pretty pretty good stuff from from Lena Games there. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, Mitch Keddy, eat your heart out. Oh, let's open this up for you, Mitch, just so you can see. Uh, if you weren't going to get this game before, Mitch, I'm, I'm sure uh, you will now. So Mitch Keddy, the resident neoprene master of the board game barbecue. Here we go. Oh yes. Oh my goodness, look at the production values. They're just incredible. Incredible. Oh wow, that's that's just amazing. Okay, now let's have a look at some of the other things that we've got in here. Uh, we'll just do a bit of cleaning up. Uh, so here we go, here's the meeples, the wooden meeples in uh, true uh, leader games fashion like Root. And here we go, and pop it up. Oh goodness, <laughs> I just made a total mess of things, but I'll go pick those up later. All right, then here we go. This that's the that's the black player there. Very good, looking like look war bands. Kind of looks like pirate ships a bit actually. Um, so that's the black player. I'll pick some of those up later. Put them off to the side. Uh, then I've got the uh, orange player here. Orange and red, or whatever color you want. Orange here, and then that's the war band there. Very cool. So that's the war band, and then you got the the pawn in there too. And then he's yellow. Awesome! Just look at this. Just so good. Oh wow! I'm I'm so excited for this. Here we go. The yellow ones. Look at the just the detail. The laser printing. Just awesome. Here's blue. Yeah, that's what we want. The blue one. The blue team. Go blue. There we go. Got the eye on there from that creepy creepy person before. And then we've got white. Kind of looks like a bit of a cloud or something like that. And we'll open that up. So here we go. Very nice, very, very good. And then of course we've got the, and uh, a few more, so these go with the, uh, this goes with the, um, with the Chancellor, and this is the one, this is the one that people wanna see, the Chancellor, the big dog, get the big dog pawn out here, look at that, it's a big chunky bit of wood. 
How good is that? Laser, laser printed, just lovely. And we'll move those to the side there. So let's keep digging in, make a bit of space, clear things up. I promise I'm not this messy in real life. Uh, so we've got, what have we got here? We've got the world box. So that's the card that you'll continue to keep on your um, in your playthroughs. Of course, because it changes for each you play through. And then we've got some baggies. How good is it that people, that game's putting baggies in now? That's so helpful. So is helpful. What? Look at this. Look at this. This is a chronicle book. So let's get this out and and um, and have a look here. Oh yeah. Oh look at this. You get to keep records of your victories. It's got that nice little place ribbon. Oh wow, that's going to be so good. How good is that? Just do a bit of clearing off too. Let's have, keep having a look. Having a look in here, getting some of this junk out of the way, so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't uh, interfere with our crucial unboxing going on here. We've got some custom dice. Who doesn't like some custom dice? Uh, some orange and blue dice here. Let me get it open. Have a look. So we've got there. We go. So we've got the orange, blue, and then a D6, which I think the D6 might even just be a turn marker. So that's, I'm thinking that's the defense die. It's got some shields on it looking pretty good. And there's the attack die. That's looking cool too. Yeah, that's looking really good. And then just a good old D6. Who doesn't like a D6? And I've got some cards. So I, I, I won't open up all of these for you guys. Um, because I don't want to give any spoilers. So if anything says open this pack, we'll onto it. So here's the secret tokens. Very good. These are heavy. These are heavier than they look. Are they made of clay? I don't know, but I do know they look very, very flash. So they're the secret tokens, and then here's the favor tokens. And these are these are heavy, but geez, they're good. They're just nice metal components. Who doesn't love a good metal component? Yes, that's what we want. How good? Yep, lovely. Great designs. They've they've transferred that from the from the um, cardboard token just perfectly. We'll pop those out of the way. Make a bit more space for you. Really good. Get those black maples out of everywhere out of the way. So like I said, I won't open these up. Um, I just I don't want to give away too much. So anything that sort of um, you know says anything along the lines of that, I, I won't do it. And we've got a nice little container there. It's going to be good to put whatever you're wanting, your secrets or your favor coins or just whatever. Um, and here we go. Here's a uh, here's another set of cards, and we've got the dragon skin drum. That looks pretty cool. Looks like I might give you some extra defense or roll some extra die. This this art is just to die for. Seriously. And look at this. Oh my oh my goodness. What like seriously, this is just amazing. And there we go. That's another that's the archive. So it says don't only open after your first game. So I'm definitely not gonna open that. I'll show you in the back. Some more. The Rowdy Pub. Rowdy Pub. It's like the Shanny Key in Mournable. How good. Oh, just the art. That that could be somewhere in Mournable, actually getting a chair broken over your head. Uh, and then another packet here. So the Wizard School. Who doesn't want to go to the Wizard School? That looks pretty chaotic in there, actually. So that, that looks good. But I tell you what, I will open up these cards for you. So uh, just give me a sec, and I'll do work my magic as I as I take the plastic off these. I'm still here, and uh, here we are. So I'll use a little. You know, I, I got some. I copped some grief a bit last time about opening the cards up. So uh, hopefully this is a bit speedy and a bit more to your liking. So here we go. Let's have a look at these now. And, uh, oh my goodness, look at this artwork. It's just, every card is unique. Every card just tells a story. Oh, Carl Farron, you've just done an incredible job. An incredible job. Just lovely, lovely, lovely. I think that was so good. Just so good. And you know what, let's let's open up this one too. Uh, here we go. So, yeah, critique me on my card opening skills. Here we go. This one's... Oh, there we go, a lot more quick, a lot more faster. Whack, whack, whack. And let's have a look at these. These cards, oh, just glorious. Just so good. Oh, man, I cannot wait to play this game. I cannot wait. It is going to be fantastic. Just look at this. How good is, is that? Hospital marriage, lovely. Yes, this, oh, <laughs> the art. This is just totally, totally incredible. Oh, I'm just in awe of this production. It really is marvellous. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just uh, think this is going to be such a winner. It sounds like such a promising product. So that is uh, Oath Chronicles of Empire and Exile by Leader Games, um, created by Cole Whirl and the art by Carl Ferrin. So like I said, you know, this is just going to be 
I think this is going to be one of the big contenders come the end of the year. There's just so much involved. Um, really, really good. So thank you all again for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our podcast, please do on any podcast um, apps. Uh, join our Discord and give us a follow on Facebook. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.